Now, let's discuss all these stages in detail. First, let's look at how dirty money is collected. A money laundering scheme typically starts with the collection of dirty money. For instance, a cocaine dealer has a lot of cash from drug sales done by him or by his network of runners. Now, he needs to do something with this money to get rid of the cash and make it more liquid and put it in a bank account because spending huge amounts of cash will draw suspicion. To do so, the money launderer first prepares a placement. Placement is a technique used to divide huge chunks of money into smaller amounts to avoid suspicion from financial institutions. Dividing huge amounts of cash into smaller amounts is called structuring or smurfing. This is one way of preparing a placement phase, but another way is to make the money seem legitimate through setting up a front business. The cocaine dealer can set up a fictitious cash-intensive business to launder his money. It can be a restaurant, a hamburger joint, a convenience store, a flower shop, a nightclub, a pawn shop, a gold dealer. Any type of business with a lot of cash can be used. Then, the drug money is integrated into the company's finances, as if it were revenue and profits from this business. The businesses can either have no real activity at all or a partial activity. For instance, the drug dealer opens a hamburger joint. The sale of hamburgers will be genuine, but part of the company's money will be drug money. The launderer can also set up several companies if a huge amount of money is laundered and these companies can do fictitious business deals with each other hiding the integration of drug money. Now comes the placement phase where dirty money is integrated into the financial system. Money from the hamburger joint seems to be a legitimate source of earnings and can be placed in a bank account without much hassle. From this bank account, money can either be spent immediately or the criminal can decide to create a money trail that is complex to follow by doing multiple follow-up transactions. This is called layering. Layering involves for instance a complex web of transactions to bank accounts, wire transfers to a bank abroad or an offshore bank, payments of false invoices to another company. In the layering phase, a range of different options or a mix of several options can be used depending on the creativity and professionalism of the criminal in question. Next is the integration phase. The use of seemingly clean money. Now that the origin of the money seems to be legitimate coming from the hamburger joint, the criminal can make use of this money for financing a luxurious lifestyle or build up capital through financial investments or facilitate the use of these investments for future money laundering schemes. They can make use of commercial or industrial investments, acquisition of real estate, etc. There are various options for integrating dirty money into the financial system. As mentioned in our previous video, there are many ways to launder money. The three phases we describe here represent a basic money laundering cycle. To summarize, this lesson explains a typical money laundering cycle and the different stages involved with the help of an example. Our next lesson will focus on money laundering regulation and how to combat money laundering and what you have to do as a company. Hope to see you there.